doing? Still heartbroken about your train? Of course. Glad yeah. I can bring it up to you. I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, Mitch Marner. Oh, Captain, my captain, you're looking quite nice tonight. Thank you. Look out, ladies. Seriously. I know, yeah. you're, I know you're married, man. Exactly. Look at this guy, looking, looking pretty spiffy tonight. Thank you. Appreciate that. What? I, I need my comfort I'll blanket. Get, I'll, I'll get in the middle here. I need my comfort blanket. Throughout the summer, we've been asking on our Twitter page just some, some fun hockey questions. So what's a hockey moment that, like, something in hockey that gives you goosebumps every time you go on the ice? I think just the sound of, like, edges turning hard, you know? Like, just the sound of, like, the ice cracking and, like, you know, your first couple strides. I think that's always... And then obviously it's just the sound of like a post in our bar down. It's always nice. Oh yeah, we, we love the sound of that too. The tunnel at uh, Scotiabank Arena is pretty damn cool. Um, you know, nothing like it, especially on a Saturday night. What about the Canada Life Center in Winnipeg? That's pretty cool too, no? That's that's pretty good too, I'm not going to lie. Uh, especially uh, Leafs Jets. It's it's a good a good atmosphere, so. <laughs> oh, don't I know it. Sarah Nurse's laugh. It gives me goosebumps every time. It just gets you fired up? Yeah, she just makes me so happy. So definitely Sarah's nurse, nurse, Sarah Nurse's laugh. Wow. Okay. I want to hear this laugh. I want the goosebumps. I'm, I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Um, for me, I'm a little more serious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I'm getting goosebumps. No, stop. I can feel it. Stop it. <laughs> when I see coaches celebrate, because coaches are very, they're supposed to be very even keel, like very, yeah. have their emotions under control. But when they kind of lose it for a second and like you can see the joy, yeah. love that. Love yeah. It. Sounded similar to mine, right? It sounded very similar to my answer. I think. I, I, want, to hear, I want to hear you laugh. I don't laugh. Worst jersey of all time. Ooh. That's a tough one. That's putting on a spot here. Maybe the Atlanta ones, maybe? The Cal oh. the, or the Golden Seals? Where were the Seals? Don't say your guys new reverse retros, because those things no, were I, sick. I love them. I actually love those ones, too. Give me some jerseys. like The the Islanders, like, rock, like the crappiest jersey ever. Just had Islanders across. So that <laughs> Islanders jersey that you guys had back in the day, like the, it was like a dark one. It just, like, said Islanders across the chest. Yeah. That's just my opinion. All right, that's your opinion. We'll go with those ones. All right, those ones are, yeah, thanks for that one. Yeah, yeah, no worries. What about your biggest pet peeve? Don't really have any that I can think of. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure guys on my team are like thinking I have a lot, but I can't think of one at this moment, to be honest. It goes out to like 90% of NHLers. When they put their socks over the, what are the reverse tongues? What are they called in the back here? The, the heels, the yeah. Heels. Why do they do that? It's awful style. It's terrible. I like, do that. I do that. It. It, everybody does. <laughs> well, we all know you have bad style. No, I, go, I, I actually have tongues out. I, you know I have bad style? Wow. Yeah. Oh, you're getting carved. Okay. I, definitely when somebody, like, after a goal is scored, and they come through the train, and they hold their stick with their knob up, not their blade up, after you score a goal. I think it's the weirdest thing. I've never seen Oh, that's you'll see weird. it now that, now that I've said it, you, you'll see it. Like, it looks so unnatural. I've never heard of that, and I'll be looking out for that. If the best players from Canada played against the best players from the U.S. in a seven-game series, who would win it and how many games? Well, I'm Canadian, so um, I'm going to go with Canada, and I'm going to say in four. In four? In four. Ooh. I'm pretty confident in the Canadian boys. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the Americans have got hella bug, yeah, Andre. I mean, obviously, the Americans have a hell of a team, um, but... Uh, I gotta go for Canada, of course. Canada, U.S. So we're probably going seven games, um, but Canada for sure. Oh, I get it. We did that like a few months I, ago, and we won. Look, so, look, look. <laughs> like, were I, you not watching? I, no, no, I was. <laughs> it was on TSN. I, ha I have to ask the same question. Things can change in a couple months or a couple weeks, you know. No, they don't change. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tell us about tonight. Yeah, tonight's uh, cocktail night. Um, so you know, kind of what it is is people going to come in here. Um, we got a silent live auction. I'm um, going to have some good cocktails flowing, um, you know, get to meet the athletes, get to kind of hang around with them, talk, sign some stuff, um, just enjoy the night. And then tomorrow night is, or tomorrow morning is on ice event and um, that's kind of a skills event. we got four different pads that are going to do different skills. You're going to have the pros with you kind of taking you through the events. And at the end of the day, you know, you hope your score is the best. And if it is, you get to skate with us for a couple laps, kind of just talk to us on the ice, um, do a photo on the ice and then kind of just enjoy it all. Unreal, man. Okay, so one of my first interviews ever was at this event four years ago. How you doing, big guy? I'm doing good. I'm excited. So I got to ask you to take a quick pick, if you don't mind, yeah, just yeah. for like the, the four-year difference. As I said earlier, uh, I think you've gotten a lot better looking, and I've gotten worse looking. My facial hair is pretty pathetic. I'm not going to lie. That's why I don't grow mine. 